As far as not witch enough, okay, I've already proven to you that it's been confirmed by my family that I have witch blood. I showed you this, I'm gonna find it again, but um, by my aunt saying, well, you do have witch blood, when I'm talking about that, I want to go to witch school before all this. I showed you this in the post. Predating all of this going public, all right. Um, and, um, but, and actually HMI, where I was attending free classes and have proven that to you, the Hypnosis Institute at Tarzana, that she would, and one of the instructors would always say that too, she'd be like, we're all witches here. It's the same fucking thing, you guys. Um, it's just tapping into different aspects of it. And then as far as Jungian psychology, which I've established my parents are, it's the same thing. It's just tapping into a different side of it. So. <coughs> That would be more tapping into like past life regressions, also to be found at HMI. And it's, that's also a Wiccan concept. Right. Not Wiccan exactly, but um, I'm just saying, you know, you're questioning the validity and saying it's a 1996 movie. I'm like, bitch, it's been in my life my entire life. Um, you know, um, twin flames, soulmates, karma, um, dream practice, dream interpretation. Um, symbolism, metaphors, all of that, which is a crossover to witchcraft, that also is in union psychology. No, not 1996, this is what I grew up with, and beyond that, just my own curiosity, I was doing spells in my backyard by the time I was five. Like, we, I didn't know what I was doing in terms of like what plant meant this, but I knew like, holly berry, I'll grab that, and like take the powder off of lilies, and like, you know, just weird shit, man, and like, I'd make these concoctions and I'd always oh, good magic, but you know, and I'd do these things. I've been playing around with this since a young age and I was practicing the dream world stuff. You guys are like, oh my God, you're so weird about dreams. I'm like, well, but it's part of my spiritual belief. So, um, and then just to go over it again, because I didn't feel like I was encompassing enough, I forgot something. Um, a hyssop bath, you might, if you're filming me in the shower, you might have seen me dumping a little bottle on myself. That's hyssop. It's, um, in bulk is a, a practice, normally better with a bathtub, but I was not going to make that a bath, um, of cleansing um, that witches do. Then there's things with the moon, waxing and waning, so you might have noticed at certain times I was doing certain things. You might have noticed me lighting different colored candles. Why? It's different, different things. You know, a black candle could be like an uncrossing. Um, thank you very much. A white candle might be protection or healing or something, you know whatever uh pink might be love or green might be money or health or you know it just it just depends and you might have seen me take a knife and etch things on it what was i doing runes you might have seen me drawing on my mirror what was that spear spells and runes and also you might have seen i don't know if you saw this because i think i went outside for it but i did i was doing something with a mirror at israel Lawrence. i was breaking a mirror it was a spell um, and actually, I fucked it up. <laughs> so, shame on me. Um, but I was doing mirror magic. Um, in sense, they weren't just random. You know, it's not just like Nog Champa 24-7. Um, they're all, you know, different kinds of things. Uh, it's just really, you know, frankincense and myrrh. I know Christians use that as well. Um, you know, just different ones, dragon's blood, and things representing elements of da 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 Anyway, so me incorporating elements, putting a little bit of water on at my altar, which I had, uh, a little bit of water, and then I had like a giant jade rock, or I had some dirt or sand or um, fire, and, and it was like blowing life elements. Maybe I was going to the four corners of my room and doing something like directions. Um, you know, was I um, doing spells to protect the windows and doors? Yeah, you might have noticed that. Was I doing cleansings of my room and myself with like sage, it said? Yeah. Um, and then I would, you know, um, ring a bell or, or light incense or do something to bring in a different energy after sort of sandblasting that clean. And, um, you know, even dancing. And you're like, haha, you're dancing in your room. And I'm like, oh, well, it may not be me, so be very aware of that because maybe just switching my face. But, uh, yeah, that's part of it. Uh, dancing, make it. So I had a fur on. <laughs> fake fur. It's fake. Um, but, you know, just getting in the of that. And, um, you know, um, chanting. I don't really sing a lot of what you sing. I don't really sing as much, but chanting. Uh, 
jump, sort of drumming on myself. That's that's all witchcraft. Um, calling in spirits, deities, spirits, um, animal spirits, etc. Um, angels, archangels. Um, what else might you have seen me doing? Burning herbs, burning. There was a thing, but I don't know if you filmed outside. So uh, it was like a ball, like a fireball. And I threw it into a garbage can. And that was something. Um, giving offerings on the altar. You saw that. Something with a knife. You saw, you saw that too. It's part of it. Um, you're seeing the craft. None of this is in the craft, by the way. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, the list really goes on and on, but it, it, your craft thing is total crap. The crap. This has had a lot more. Oh, and then see, doing healings for people. You might have noticed people laying on the bed, and then I'm like, putting sage over them, and I'm walking them through past lives. This is witchcraft. This is hypnosis. And, um, you might, I mean, I don't know if you would be able to tell what I was doing on the bed and, um, Reseda, but I know that there were times that you might have seen me laying down and like doing something, probably after, you know, doing stretching or yoga or something, definitely after smoking pot. And, um, and there was one time that I had such a visceral reaction, it was about getting burned at the stake, that I, I stood up and I felt sick. And so you might have seen me suddenly, but that happens when you go through some more traumatic lives and deaths. deaths. Um, and um, even yoga is a spiritual practice as well. So, and then, I mean, you wouldn't have known what it was, but I did start making my own book of shadows, sort of ish, as more notes, um, when I was like 13 years old. So, none of which is a. Uh, 